Samsung Galaxy S21 leaks and rumor have been starting to emerge online from different sources which tell us its possible storage option, processor, cameras and display. We will discuss each one of them in detail in this particular video so stay tuned. Starting from the display, there were many reports that Samsung may be using BOE LED which is a Chinese company to make a display in a cheap price. Earlier, Samsung has requested the BOE to send a quotation for OLED screen with a 90Hz of refresh rate that could be used in Galaxy S21 series smartphone. There were also rumors of Galaxy S21 featuring OLED screen with under display selfie camera. Usually quality testing and mass production testing are performed before the display are used in the final products. However, BOE seems to have failed for the first stage of the display. It's also been reported that BOE OLED panel have failed the testing phase for the iPhone 12 which is slated to launch later this year. BOE LG display and Samsung display were meant to supply OLED screen for the iPhone 12 series. A report had later claimed that Samsung would provide 80% screen orders for the next iPhone. Next we have the processor depending upon which region you are living in. Samsung may be using Qualcomm or Exynos processor inside the upcoming Galaxy S21. Neither of these future silicon have been announced yet but we may see the Snapdragon 875 or Exynos 1000 SoC inside the Galaxy S21. Samsung on Exynos 1000 SoC will compare to Qualcomm solution but the giant tech gave up on its custom cores and the next chipset is set to be using an AMD graphics and make a direct competitor to Qualcomm solution. We have to wait until the later part of the 2020 or earlier 2021 to find out which certainty. Also some interesting Galaxy S21 camera specs have been leaked. It's way too soon to be sure of what Galaxy S20 camera sensor might bring on the table. As we know that the Galaxy S20 Ultra camera suffered from a few issues right on the gate. It, it would practically struggle with the focusing of the subject while the company has fixed many of the issues through subsequent firmware updates. It, it just wasn't a good look for its top of the line flagship. Samsung is now said to be changing the Galaxy S21 camera spec with the laser autofocus seemingly being dropped. One of the current development model is rumored to sport 150 megapixel of a main camera sensor. That is going to be an awesome thing because 108 megapixel have already been seen in the Galaxy S20 and giving us a great result. The other camera sensor might be including a 64 megapixel telephoto lens, 16 megapixel wide angle shooter and a 12 megapixel macro sensor. Some earlier reports have suggested that Samsung will be using TOF as a part of the set setup for the Galaxy S21 in this report. This is just pure speculation at this point on time. There is a good chance that the thing could change down the line as the development process advances. The actual situation of the Galaxy S21 specs may not be evident until at least the end of this year. According to Sam Mobile, Samsung is also making of three Galaxy S21 model. That shouldn't come as a surprise for anyone who hasn't been living under a rock for the last two years. The Galaxy S21 was the first device in the Galaxy S series to come with three different sizes and Samsung stuck with this routine with the Galaxy S20 series. Next year looks set to be the same. At this moment, according to different leads, Samsung has started development the 5G variant of Galaxy S21 models. At this moment, Samsung has started developing the 5G variant of the three Galaxy S21 models using a model number SMG991, SMG996, and SMG998. If Samsung does not mix up the naming scheme, these devices should launch as the Galaxy S21, Galaxy S21 Plus, and Galaxy S21 Ultra. Though nothing can be said for the certain at this point in time, there will be probably an LTE, LTE variant as well, what we cannot currently see as a sign of them. According to Sam Mobile, the Galaxy S21 models are currently in a development with 128 and 512GB of internal storage. That is probably not complete list or maybe it is Samsung has already done away with 1TB variant of the flagship phones. The last Galaxy flagship to ship with 1TB of internal storage was the Galaxy S10 Plus. And in the post-Covid world where the people are less willing to spend huge sum of money on phones, maybe Samsung will cancel the 512GB option as well. So guys, this is just a pure speculation at this point. There is a good chance that things could change down the line as the development process advances. The actual situation of the Galaxy S21 specs may not become evident until at least the end of this year. So guys, what are your expectations for the upcoming Galaxy S21 device? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and also please do consider subscribing my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.